In today's video, I'm going to go out on Green Bay with my friend Jeff. He's not very mobile, so we are going to find a place where we can drive onto the ice just a little bit because it scares the bejesus out of me driving on Green Bay. We won't go out far. We'll just pick a spot, set up, and fish for whitefish. Hopefully some fish will be around. I don't know. There might not be. But that's fishing for you. We'll just really pick one spot and sit there for a while. And hopefully I can get some good footage of catching. If not, I am testing out a new pop-up clam, the C560. I think that's what it's called. Never used it before. This will be a good chance to play with that. Set it up, see how that goes. Take it down, see how that goes. And I'll show you that too. Hey everybody, it's outdoor adventure time. I am heading up to the Door County area to try for some whitefish today with my friend Jeff, who is having some pain, hip pain, back pain. So we have to drive out, which I think I'll, I'll get out and he can drive out and then I'll, <laughs> and then I'll walk out to see if uh, he's still out topside. <laughs> I put some swim noodles in the back of the Suburban, so hopefully it'll float. He's got some swim noodles? All right. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see what happens. We, we may or may not get out there, but it's that's part of the adventure, I guess. And if nothing else, I'll at least uh, try setting up my new pop-up shelter that I've never actually used. I've set it up once, and I'll put that up and see how that goes. There, say hi, Jeff. Hello, hello, hello. You know, every fishing adventure has opportunities to learn and grow, and today is one of those adventures. So we're looking forward to maybe getting out, giving it a try, and uh, see if we can get a whitefish or two. Or 10. Well, this isn't how it was supposed to play out. My buddy Jeff just, there's only one other vehicle that drove out here, so he's a little concerned about driving out here. And I get it. I don't like driving out on ice too that I'm unfamiliar with. Uh, I think there's about 14 in inches. I, um, I measured a bit. It's definitely over 12. Could even be 16. But the way the ice chunks blow in and refreeze, I can I understand the hesitation, and I don't want to be that guy either by putting a truck through. So I totally understand. But the idea, of course, was to get him out on the ice and fish together. My shelter is still in his vehicle, so I'm not gonna get a chance to put that up unless he decides to come out. So I will fish a little bit out here by myself until I've had enough of sitting out in the cold alone. I was able to borrow his sonar. He's got an ICE 35, which is, uh, it works. It's a decent unit by Hummingbird. So I'm out here jigging for whitefish and red river park there are a few others out here have a look So I have a question for you. Do you want to watch somebody fish who doesn't catch fish? Probably not. So this video is going to be short. <laughs> I'd watch a video with somebody fishing and doesn't catch fish who is entertaining, but ultimately I want to see people catch fish if that's what they're, they're going for. But this is real life here. This is a, an area in central Wisconsin, there's a lot of fishermen. There's a, a lot of water, but it can get crowded. And I am chasing after whitefish. And I just know they cruise the shores here on Green Bay on the east side. And I wanted to fish with my buddy Jeff, and he's he's not out here. He said, he, he said, I'll drive out if you catch one. So far, I haven't even seen life below the ice right now so this is my second move and just about pounding bottom and we'll see i really wanted to try out that shelter 
I will just have to do that on my own sometime and check that out. That's that, and here I am out in Red River without my buddy who's, who's staying behind. And I'll give him a call, check in with him, and see. No one else has driven out. Only one other person has driven out, so he's, he's kind of freaking out about that. And since I'm safe on the ice, I'm like, go for it. Come on out here, man. We'll fish together. There's got to be 16 inches in this hole I just drilled right here. So there's there's a lot. So there we have it. Uh, but if I get a fish, I will be glad to share that with you. Or else, thanks for joining me. It, it'll be a it'll be a short one, a couple minutes. But I am outside, and it really is pretty nice out. It's not too bad out here today. So I'd rather be in a nice big shelter with some heat and a friend. But this way I can move around. I don't ice guide for obvious reasons because I'm not that mobile and I sometimes don't catch fish. So that, uh, that's a really good reason to not guide on the ice. And it can be brutal out here. I love guiding in my boat. And you know what? If we don't put fish in the boat when I'm guiding, you do not have to pay the rest of the balance. No lie. No fish, no more pay. You have bad days too, but we were usually catching something, not like today ice fishing. And also when you're when you're ice fish by yourself, it's it's very difficult because you're not mobile. You watch those TV shows and there's guys out and they have guides out all the time and they've got a team of people looking for fish know where the active bite is and even some days they still have a hard time so don't get down on yourself it is frustrating to get out there and not catch anything but lord knows i've done that and i will continue to do that it's part of the outdoor adventure just get out there enjoy the outdoors spend some time outside in god's country and be grateful for the things that you have i'm marking a fish wow Saw a sign of life. Just saw a sign of life. Yeah, and I can't, my fingers are cold and it won't let me, my phone doesn't recognize my finger. So here, just hit it, 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 hit it. I gotta, I gotta use my, my face. <laughs> Thank you.